Hello fans, viewers, subscribers, join me Ruku for another beer review. Today we're going to Portugal for some of theirs, and this is of course, I never even knew they, they made this at all, so this is a first for me. This is Super Boxed Out. There you go, Super Boxed Out. Comes in at 5%. Uh, what did it say to 5? It did say 5%. Oh. Not that you can really see it, but it is on the neck of the bottle there, and it is a free fur. There you go, 5% free fur. So this is Portuguese. I love Super Bock, it's one of the most well known beers out there. Absolutely love it. As you capturing enthusiasts. Just uh, stick that back on there. Right, I'm getting into my stouts as you probably know. Um, you know, I think that they they have good flavours. Um, they tend to be a bit samey, but you know there are one or two out there that will uh, split the world apart. This, as you can see, I believe it or not, I pour this extremely slow, and I still get a massive head. So that's a good thing. You know, at least it's got a good head. Um, the the colour is typical stout. It's it's black. It's dark. You know, the head as well as you can probably see. If I just lift you up, you know, Spin this around a minute, there you go. I'm going to come and lift you up a minute. Uh, there you go. You see that? It's like a it's like a brown, brown cereal sort of colour. That sort of wheaty Cheerio looking colour, you know what I mean? A dark Cheerio. Um, <laughs> can't get the fucking head in here. Oh, there you go. That's probably about as well. As far as I'm going to get. Uh, you can just see there that it's smooth topped. So yeah, it looks good. It looks good. You know, it performs as it should. It's a stout at the end of the day. Um, I've never had this before, so I'm looking forward to trying this. Big bubbles in the head too. Uh, not a good start. Um, I don't know what I'm smelling. It just, uh, there is a reason for doing this because obviously I can't smell much in the aroma. I just want to sort of stir it around a bit and get, I mean, you can see how frothy that head is. It's just stuck on the spoon. Look at that, it's just not even coming off. That's a good sign. Mm. Head bitter. Bitter but frothy. Hopefully now I've stirred it up, I should get some more aroma. Yeah, there you go, straight away. Coffee, smells of coffee, dark chocolate. Light roasted malt. A hint of that cereal smell. Yeah, I've got a feeling it's going to be tasting like a standard stout, if I'm being honest, but uh, we won't know until we try, so cheers everyone. Wow, that's, um, that's, that's very, very different, not what I was expecting. Surprisingly, very watery. I don't think I've ever had a watery stout. Very watery. Um, almost tastes like a beer, which is strange. It, it's got that sort of not the hop, but not the malt, but there's something else there. You know that typical beer taste. I can't describe it, but it's just a typical beer taste, and it kind of almost referenced just the standard Superbock beer. Or even Segres, it's kind of got that sort of way about it. If you've ever had Segres and Superbock, it is very similar, but just a bit more watered down. Um, and you do get on the aftertaste a slight, I don't know what that is, a slight, I don't know, slight malt, roasted malt. A 
a slight, yeah, slight roasted malt, a tad bit on the alcohol. Again, watery, but very velvety, very silky. Um, the head is bitter, but very foamy, frothy. Not much in the way of aftertaste. Again, as I said, it's just very basic, but it's quite a, an unusual style of stout, and I must admit, I was expecting it to be very heavy. This is incredibly light, watery. The mouth feels light. You know, the body of the beer is light. Um, yeah, it's just not what I expected. I'm pleasantly surprised by that. So, um, yeah, that's, that's that shut me right up, fans. That really has, because I wasn't expecting that. This is what I like: people that do things differently. Even them, there's um, a slight dryness when you swish it around a little bit, get the mouth going. You just get a little tiny bit of, of dry, and uh, you do get kind of a, a bite there as well. I'm not sure what that is, but you do get a slight bite. But other than that, it's very weak, mild, watery, surprising, very surprising indeed, fans. Lacing, then, as you can see. I'm just going to hoist you up quickly before I end this review. Uh, there's your lacing, very, very just. Oh, it's thick, isn't it? It just sticks to the glass. Uh, just to give you a little demo. See so, yeah, how it just slides down, but it sort of sticks at the same time. There you go. So, very surprising. Um, what am I going to score it? Um, it's not bad. Just wish it had a little bit more flavour, but it's different. So because it's different, I'm going to give it the extra mile. Now I'm not saying this is based on taste, but I'm going on style. This is a different style to what most outs are. So for that reason, I'm going to give it. Uh, I'm going to give it an eight on the style. The taste, yeah, it's it's about it's about five. It's it's dead average. Um, there's not huge amounts of flavours, but because of the style overall, as a whole, I'm going to give it a 7.5. So there you go, 7.5 for the weird enough that is surprised me, Superbox Stout. So there you go. Thanks for watching, fans.